Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here and tuning in. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll find these tutorials helpful for you. Today we're going to do a simple painting of a, like a tropical scene with some palm trees and we're going to have a beach here. We're going to try to do the sky like a very smooth, simple, not, not adding too much clouds in the sky, but make it very smooth looking, right? And then the ocean right here and then the sand here and then maybe some foam from the ocean, you know. And then palm trees are going to come out, a couple of them. We're going to just add two. You can add as much as you want, but we're going to add two right here. And then that will be the piece. That's the plan. Let's see what happens and have fun together. Let's go straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. We need a canvas and I'm using a 16 by 20 inch. You could use any size canvas you'd like for this tutorial. Totally up to you. Um, also, good news, I partnered with Fredericks and we are releasing my line of canvases that I like to use. There will be a 16 by 20 inch and an 18 by 24 inch available soon on Amazon and my website. If you'd like to be notified first and get a 50% discount on these canvases, there's a link down below for that to sign up and be notified first. For paint, we're going to use acrylics and today I'm going to use my 24 set right here and I'll show you which colors exactly we're going to use from this set. We need titanium white, medium yellow, crimson red, sap green, ultramarine blue, raw sienna, and lamb black. For brushes, we need a couple of these blending brushes and they're exactly the same, just different color. We need two of these for blending. Also, good news, I am working on building a couple sizes down for um, little details and blending little sections. And so I have the M2 and then M3. These are sizes down from the bigger one right here, okay? So they will be out too, and if you'd like to be notified when they're out, there's going to be a link down below also. But we need one of these and one of these for blending, okay? This is the smallest. We need a half an inch flat brush, a number four brush, and a detail brush. We need a palette, and I'm using a palette paper and then palette knife to mix your paint, water, and a jar where you can put your brushes down and dab your brush in water right here, okay? And if you have any paper towels, we need this. And then also, if you have a hair bow dryer to quickly dry out your first coats, you can use that, but if you don't, that's all right. It usually dries within, you know, between 10 to 30 minutes, it'll be dry, okay? So that's all for the materials. All, the, all these materials, there'll be links to them down below in the description if you're interested. But honestly, any kind of paint, any kind of uh, brushes, whatever works best for you, you can use, okay? These tutorials are meant to have fun and be creative, see what you can catch out of every lesson and put it into your craft and into your creative you know, imagination, all right? So just have fun with it. Go with the flow, take your time, take breaks, you know, no rush in these tutorials. No, you know, it's all about having fun, all right? So let's, let's get straight to it, start mixing our colors and just have lots of fun. Let's pick up our palette and titanium white and we're gonna create about, you know, five shades of color, okay? So let's squeeze out our first one, about, you know, a little maybe over thumb amount, maybe a little more, okay? So maybe a little more and then a thumb amount here and then each time add a little bit less okay so each time add a little bit less like this all right something like this next medium yellow and we're going to add a touch right here okay very small amount you could see and then a touch right in here that's it Crimson red, and we're going to add a touch, very small amount, not a lot, barely any, okay, like this. You can see, very, very small amount, and then a little more here, and then a touch right here, and that's it. So this has more of it, 
Okay, but you could see I didn't add that much. We don't want to add too much because we could always add more if we need to, all right? Ultramarine blue, let's add a little bit here. Okay, a little bit and then a little more here. And let's stop right there. So you could see I added about the same amount with the white, okay? So let's stop right there. Let's quickly mix this and see what it gives us and then we can add more if we need to of any color. All right, first one, always start with your lightest one because you don't want to carry the darks into your lights. So this is going to be our brightest color. You could see it's like a light yellow. All right, and don't focus on trying to, you know, spend too much time on this. Quickly blend it out because we're going to make a very simple sky today um, and make it you know, soft looking, not too much clouds. You'll see, it'll be fun. Okay, I like it. All right, see it's like a bright orange. We wanna make a soft transition from one color to another. So this one might need a little more uh, white actually, because you could see that it's uh, quite a, you know, dramatic change from this light orange so I'm gonna quickly do that. You could see, we wanna make it a little lighter, all right? So I'll add some more white. So I added a little more white, as you could see. And I also added a little bit more white here because I wanna make the sky not too dark. You could make it a little dark if you'd like, totally up to you, but I want my palm trees to stand out, all right? Because my palm trees are gonna be darker. So that's why I'm adding it more white here so that the background won't take away from the palm trees if it's dark. So let's quickly mix that and hopefully it'll give us a lighter pinkish color. That's much better. Much better. You could even add a little more if you'd like, but that's all right. That will work. Okay. So next should be transitioning to our blue. So it's going to be like kind of like a purpose purple color or violet or you know something like that okay and you can see it's slowly transitioning to our final color here and this should be more blue lighter blue and then that's it and we're ready to put these colors onto our canvas and create our sky so right here, that's what I have. Again, you can add a little bit more white if you want. So, um, and if you like your colors of the sky the way it is, great. We can start adding it and having fun. But I think I'm happy with it. I think this is fine for this, you know, sky scene. I think it'll work. But keep in mind, if your colors are getting a little dark, I would encourage you to add white because we want the palm trees to stand out later on during, you know, towards the end of the painting when we add that, all right? So this is what I have. So clean out your palette knife really quickly. And let's pick up one of our blending brushes. It doesn't matter which one. And then our water right here. And we're gonna cover about like almost halfway through the canvas, all right? So I'm gonna dab my brush all the way in the water and then squeeze part of it out not all of it, like this, so that water won't drip like this, okay? And you wanna take practice um, the amount of water you, you want in your brush, right? Once you get the technique down, it's very fast and easy. In this process, the blending process is actually pretty quick, so it doesn't take that long. Um, so I'm gonna work fast um, because it works best when you do that, you know? So um, water helps it from, you know, it drying so fast so acrylics tend to dry faster and water helps it to slow it makes it dry slower i don't like to use any kind of mediums i tried doing that and i just don't like it but if you like doing that that's okay um so i'm gonna every time i'm gonna dab like every time i pick up my paint and i say i'm dabbing my brush um that's what i'm doing i'm basically just the tip of the the brush i'm just going like this into the water to pick up a little bit more water so it can run smooth onto the canvas so i can feel the canvas and it's smooth that's what water does all right so i have water here 
and I'm going to start with my brightest color first. Okay, I'm going to pick up all the color right here and then let's just spread it like this. Okay, the, the light is going to be pretty bright on this side. So I'm dabbing my brush in the water so it can be smooth, so I can feel that nice smooth texture. Okay, so just take all of that and maybe even bring it up a little bit like this. And that's it. Next, I'm dabbing my brush in the water and picking up the orange. Let's just put it right here. And then maybe on top right here. Dabbing my brush in the water, picking up more of this orange. And let's add it on the bottom right here. Okay, like this, something like that. Dabbing my brush in the water, taking all that orange. Let's just put it all around like this. Dabbing my brush in the water, taking this light pink, and then right on the bottom here, I'm gonna bring it and fade it out. Dabbing my brush in the water. Let's add the pink right in here, maybe some in here. Okay, dabbing my brush in the water, taking that pink, and let's just blend it all with the white. It's okay if you cover a lot of this, it's all totally fine. Now let's take our next color and add it right in here a little bit. Dabbing my brush in the water so it can be smooth, running smooth on my canvas, you can see, and adding it right on top. We don't want water to be dripping. Dabbing my brush in the water and adding a little more on this side. And then finally, dabbing my brush in the water quickly, taking my last color and Let's just add all that blue right in here, okay? All this beautiful blue. Cover all of it, okay? Like this. And that's it. So now I'm putting my brush down and I'm gonna pick up my dry blending brush, right? And I'm gonna lightly swirl and blend everything in, starting from the lightest area. So maybe even go like this. You can do, you know, I kind of want it to be kind of more of a, you know, like a soft, like you could see some clouds, the transitions. So you could do some cool effect either this way or swirl it, okay? I'm gonna do both. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm barely pressing the canvas, right? And I'm going back and forth, blending these colors in, okay? And this part, it's going to turn out for you maybe a little different, but that's okay, you know? Yours could look a little different, and that's the point. And lightly, lightly, I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm lightly going back and forth and spreading that paint evenly, okay? And if you see some of the hairs from the brush, um, usually if your brush is new, you'll see some loose hairs. That's totally f normal and fine. Wait, don't pluck them out and mess with it. Let the paint dry, and then once the paint is dry, you can easily scratch them off and they should come off easily, all right? So there you go. Our blending is done. You can see the nice smooth transitions going on, right? That's what we want. So once you have finished that, right, I'm gonna clean out my brushes so that they won't sit in the water too long and wait till this dries and then finish drying it by using the hairbrow dryer, right? We want this to be fully dry to continue our adding the next steps, okay? All right, I cleaned my brushes and I got a new water right here. And my background is dry and there was a few hairs on there and I just now because it's dry, just kind of scratched them off. They came off easily and we can continue. You can obviously add the clouds, you know, like you could start seeing some misty kind of look to, you know, like this naturally formed a cloud. That's cool, right? And you can, if you want, you can go back and really add your clouds and make it, uh, you know, more detailed if you'd like, right? But I, want, I wanted to keep it simple today and continue. So now that we have the sky done, we're gonna add some far away, maybe some mountains in the back here, just the little ones far away. Right, and then after that, we'll add our base of the ocean and sand, and we're gonna add a few layers, you know, ripples and waters and, you know, water and foam here. And then the last thing we'll add are the palm trees.
Okay, our palette knife, and you see you have some colors left here. I don't want to let it go to waste, so I'm going to, if you don't have this, uh, these colors, if you run out, just use a little bit of white and the crimson red and some blue, but I'm going to take part of this, and I, you see I added a touch of black here. I'm going to put it right here, maybe take part of the blue, you know, take this color, maybe this one too, a little bit. You see I have a lot there. So I'm going to mix it, and what I'm going to create I'm going to take part of this, just a touch of black right there, right? I'm going to mix it in here. I want it to be dark. Maybe a little more black. I want it to be dark, but not too dark. I want some color still in my mountains. These are going to be far away mountains. Okay, so quickly mix it. We'll add a little bit, not too much. And then we'll continue. Okay, so that's good right there. That would be our shade for our mountains. You could see we basically want it to be the darkest color, darker than these, right? But not too dark, but just right, you know, because they're far away mountains. As things get closer, they get more, you see more contrast and, you know, different kind of shades, right? But this is what we have. Now let's add some mountains. I'm going to clean out our palette knife real quick like this. And let's pick up our flat brush, all right? We're gonna dab it in the water all the way, squeeze it out, make it nice and damp like this. And let's pick up this color, okay? Not too much, but just enough like this. And let's shape out a few of our faraway mountains. So I'm gonna have some, you know, maybe one will be right in here and then it goes down you have fun with it. Create your own. And water, why I like to have my brush damp, so I'm gonna dab just a tip in the water because it works transparently and so you will see through the color that we painted on. You, it'll kind of give a nice effect. Quickly blend it out like this. You can leave some of the background color from the ones we just added. Okay, and then let's continue. Maybe there's a few far away right in here. Now we're gonna draw, obviously we're gonna draw some water. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again and we're going to use actually masking tape. I didn't mention this in the material list, but you don't have to use mas masking tape, but just to make it quick, we're going to use it. So I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do with it. So maybe let's create a little far away mountain and fade it out somewhere in here. Okay, like this. And Dab my brush in the water. Okay, and blend this part down. Dab my brush lightly in the water so it can run smooth. Pick up more of this color and draw as much as you want, okay? Don't make it too big because we're going to draw the tape right in here. So a lot of this is going to be covered. It's, the mountains aren't going to be that big. But I do want to make a little taller one right in here because I love mountains. Create your own world, okay? That's why painting is fun. So something like this. Really quickly carry that. And 
Dab my brush in water. And there you go. You have your mountains quickly added there. And that's it. Now you can create like, maybe even use like part of this orange if you want to have your brush in water. This is the fun part. You can totally spend a lot of time, maybe mix it in with the pink and add some highlights from the, you know, the, the light, the sun, right? Maybe bring some of them, you know, down, you know, for fun. Add a little bit of the highlights on your mountains. Maybe not everywhere, but just on some of the areas. Okay. You can see lightly. I added that pink and maybe some in here for fun, like this. Make it look like the light is hitting those far away mountains, right? There you go. It's that simple. All right, so once you're done, I'm going to quickly dry this out, all right? And then we're going to use masking tape to continue with our ocean and covering this area. All right, masking tape. And make sure everything is dry. And we're going to go across and... Basically, try to make it as straight as possible. But this is where you see the, the size of your, your you know, mountains are going to be. So you're going to have to eyeball it for yourself. So some of it's going to be cut out, right? That's okay. So I'm going to make it about, you know, something like this. And make sure the water is straight. So make sure you can make it as straight as possible. So what I like to do is I measure it from one side to the next. So basically I first guess. So that's not the way I'm gonna have it, but basically what I'm gonna do is measure it from here up in here so it could be even, right? And from here and here so it could be even. So then when I marked it, right? When I marked it, I go back and I go on top. Not here, but on top because we're gonna paint the bottom part. And I'm gonna cover it like this, okay? So once I have this exact side so you know mount here from from here to here then i just tape it tape it okay so i'm going to quickly do that and make sure it's all straight all right so once i have my straight line here um, i noticed that some of it right here the mountains are below that's okay i'm going to quickly paint it first and see how it looks after i take the tape off and if i don't like it i'm going to add the same color right here and cover it to make it you know add the mountain that's not a problem but let's continue and i did add more paint for the bottom so you could see i'm kind of trying to copy what i did with the sky because it's reflecting onto the water right but it's okay if it's a little different you know um so uh titanium white okay thumb amount and then a touch of yellow and then a touch of crimson red a touch of yellow white white crimson red I'm going to take, because I don't want to let this go to waste, I'm going to take this and put it here, okay? The leftover of this color. And if you don't have that, that's okay. And then um, white and ultramarine balloon, and then, and then we got the raw sienna and white, okay? So I'm going to quickly mix that. So I'm going to clean my palette knife so I won't carry the darks. And start with the light, okay? So clean palette knife. Quickly mix that. Don't spend too much time. This is our first base of the water and we're gonna add details to it later, okay? Next. Okay, basically kind of similar to the sky, but it doesn't have to be exactly. All right. That's good. 
and then the blue and then our final color because we're entering this sand this will be a color a transition from the ocean to the closer part of the canvas the sand right so I think I'm gonna create even another shade of the sand real quick all right so that's what I have here all right so this is what I added a touch of uh, white the Rossiana and a touch of crimson red right here okay so let's mix that and the reason why I added red because you I want the the sand to be glowing you know because of the evening the the sky it's very pink and you know um and, and it's reflecting onto the sand a little bit so that's why i added that there okay that's good so we just wanted it to be a little darker than this one the transition and this will be our base of the ocean all right ocean colors all right so i'm going to pick up my M2 blending brush right here and it's a uh, size down and I'm gonna dab it in the water do the same technique what we did with that sky squeeze the water out right and every time I say I'm dabbing my brush I'm just going lightly into the water just a tip to pick up more color okay so first I'm gonna start off with a little bit of this pink because I want the background to lightly stand out not too much okay so just the pink right here Dab my brush lightly in the water, not too much. We don't want too much water, but a little bit and continue off with the pink. And then, um, and then I'm going to have it kind of fade out like this. All right. So now I'm going to use this blue and I want it to have a little bit of blue in here. Okay. This nice blue transition from pink to blue. So I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water and use this blue. Okay. And here, I'm going to add a little bit of blue in here. Okay, and I'm going to add a touch of blue right in here. Very small, not too much. Maybe even take part of this, a little bit of this lighter color that we have mixed and blend it in here. Mix it all in like this. Okay, so now, I'm going to dab my brush in the water and use the lightest colors that we have mixed. I'm going to start adding it randomly all over. So dabbing my brush in the water, taking all that, and this is where I'm going to randomly, you know, blend it all in like this. All right. And now I'm going to dab my brush in the water, take this orange and blend it in right here with the yellow okay cover it all cover it all okay dabbing my brush in the water taking the orange and adding it right in here take the pink mix it in okay dabbing my brush in the water take all the pink cover the canvas and then take the blue, add the blue a little bit more in here. Not everywhere, but just a little bit in here, like this. All right, next, we're gonna add a little bit of blue, okay, right in here. And then here, we're gonna quickly go to our sand because it's slowly transitioning to this sand color, okay? So dabbing my brush in the water and quickly spreading that paint nicely with the water and it's okay if you bring it up a little bit mix it all in a little bit all right and of course our final color here make take all of it or not just whatever you have available and put it in this is where the sand the darkest part of the sand will be all right
cover the canvas and once you're done with that we are going to put our brush down and then use one of our blending brush that we cleaned right and i swirled it onto the paper towel gently to fluff it back up all right so it's almost dry so it will work and since this is ocean i'm not going to really swirl it i'm just going to go back and forth to take away the brush strokes and make kind of like what we did with the sky lightly press even if it creates some of the you know interesting transitions that's fine we want that so lightly press and you know blend it all quickly in mix it in with your colors and this is the base of our ocean don't focus too much on trying to make it perfect it doesn't really matter we just want our base to be on the canvas here and taking away all the brush strokes there you go okay so right here i saw that it's showing through a little bit so i'm going to squeeze out my smaller blending brush real quick and what i'm going to do is take this pink and maybe this orange and add it right in here all right and dab my brush lightly in the water and add a little bit more color to cover that background blue okay maybe even take the blue who cares and add it in there all right so all right now quickly take your blending brush and softly it's okay if you have a little bit of paint here that acts as like ripples all right There you go a really fast blend all right fast transition we have our canvas covered so it's good that's what we want now so now that this is done now i can slowly lightly peel my paint off like this lightly and gently and here you have it our base of the water is on our canvas so i'm going to quickly dry this out and remember this part where we covered the mountains over here um, it's totally up to you if you want to add more mountains right there you can but i think i like it i'm going to leave it the way it is i'm not i don't think maybe i'll add a little bit of far away ones just to give it you know some depth or something right um, i'm going to do that and then we will continue okay so I'm going to do that. You don't have to, but I am going to use part of this and my detail brush, dab it in the water so it can run smooth, swirl it like this. And right where the water ends, I'm going to dab my brush in the water because I want it to run smoothly. I don't want it to be rough. And I'm going to pretend that there's far away mountains. Okay. Connect it like this all right now that looks much better all right I'm gonna quickly dry this out clean my brushes real quick and this is a good part to take a break you know and we'll continue once your background is dry we can continue adding some layers and so to make it easier for you guys to see the what I'm using, I added a new paper palette. And so straight out of the tube, I add, uh, have white and then a touch of white, blue, ultramarine blue, crimson red, and a very small amount of black. Basically, that's the only color we're gonna mix. It's gonna lean towards more towards blue because I added more blue, you could see. So it will look kind of purplish. That will be one of our shade for the water. Okay. And I'll create one more shade for you guys and we'll add some details in our ocean. So I'm gonna clean my palette knife so I won't carry the darks real quick like this. And then I added a touch of white, a touch of yellow and some red right there and we're gonna blend that in. I, I, don't, I didn't add too much because we're not gonna use too much. So, 
There you go, maybe a little lighter. We can add a little more white. Okay. I think it's good. I'm not gonna add white, this is good. Okay, that's all we need. You can see just two shades and some white. Let's pick up our flat half an inch brush and we're gonna start with this and let's dab it in the water and let's start with this color right here that we have mixed and my brush is a little bit damp so it's gonna run smoothly. So I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm not gonna to add too much, but far away, you could use your finger to blend it out too. But I'm gonna uh, create a couple ripples from the ocean, from a diff distance, okay? So you see I'm creating some far away, very barely pressing, far away ripples. All right, not too much. Maybe create some Dab my brush lightly in the water so it can run smooth. And we're gonna continue. I'm gonna skip some. I think I'm gonna skip some right here. And I'm gonna continue down here. All right, so don't spend too much time. You can dab on the furthest areas lightly. Okay. So we'll continue with this and let's add some red in here. Use your finger, it helps a lot. Okay, very lightly. Let's add some red in here. brush lightly in the water, playing with this color. Continue on adding your few of the ripples here. So make sure your brush is damp. Damming my brush in the water. I want it to run smoothly on my canvas. Okay.
we're going to switch to our darker color and dab your brush in the water do the same thing but with this color okay make sure your brush is nice and damp and we're going to create some far away so i'm going to make sure it's not too dark so by doing that i add a, a little more water okay softly in okay I'm gonna pick up my number the smallest uh, number three right here okay the blending brush and instead of using a finger you could use your little blending brush to smooth it out because sometimes it could be rough looking you could see the texture of the canvas if you don't want that you can use that so for example i'm gonna have it added it right in here right and i'm gonna quickly blend that out to smooth and make it look a little smoother so lightly barely pressing back and forth see how nice that looks so i'm gonna do that here i'm gonna add it a little bit in here want this to be a little darker right in here and blend it out okay okay let's continue Here, I want to make it really dark. Maybe there's a big wave here. So I'm going to add that shadow right underneath. Okay, and lightly blend that in like this. We'll continue on with this technique. Going back and forth, quickly adding. Okay, like this, and then red in here going in and it'll start from here probably and it'll crash somewhere right in here Okay, I'm going to put my brush down for now. Actually, add a few more little details right in here for fun. OK, 
okay, like this, and quickly blend those in. All right, so now what I would like to do is dab my brush lightly in the water, squeeze the blending brush out, okay? So you have a little bit of water there, and I'm gonna use part of this color. You could see I still have uh, a little bit of water, and I'm gonna work transparently. You could see not too much, and I'm gonna add it right in here. I wanna add that shade of um, color of this blue that we have mixed here, and I wanna make it stand out a little more, right? So I'm gonna quickly add it right on this area. Okay, and then do the same thing, clean my brush, and do the same thing with this pinkish color that we have mixed, and I'm gonna add it right in here right where I want it to be, you know, a little more colorful. Okay. So lightly go back and forth. Okay, like this, there you go. All right, let's continue. Let's pick up our number four, dab it in the water, and we're gonna shape up our foam, where the foam will be. So with the white, white by itself, right? Just white, we're going to make sure our brush is damp. Dab my brush in the water so it can run smooth on the canvas and swirl it and pick up the white and let's draw our foam. So I'm gonna have it start right in here maybe and it'll kind of go down, you know, somewhere like this. And then it's gonna come around. And I think I'm gonna have it go. Somewhere right here and have it fade out, right? The foam right there. That's the line where it will end. Okay, dabbing my brush in the water, taking more of that foam, and I'm going to quickly cover the areas where, with water, not too much of the I'm gonna add that foam right in here, randomly cover it all up. Don't be afraid. Let's do this really fast with the water so that we can create, blend it all in nicely. So for example, right here, right? I added that, I'm gonna connect it. And then here, I'm gonna cover it all with foam. Right, and so while this is still wet, I'm going to pick up my little blending brush, the white one, the very small one. Okay, the clean blending brush, and I'm gonna make sure it's almost dry, so I swirl it onto the paper towel, and I'm going to quickly blend it in. Now this is our first base, so I'm sketching first, right? But I'm gonna swirl it and blend it in like this, randomly. Okay, that's good enough. Let's continue. All right, let's continue with the white. And let's start, so right here, I'm gonna have more of the, you know, ripples and things like that. And it's just gonna fade out somewhere in here, the foam. Okay, and then in here, we're gonna have a ripple somewhere along there.
we're going to touch up this wave up here, this right here, right? And we're going to come back to that. But for now, we're kind of quickly sketching our idea. Remember, palm trees are going to be here, so some of this is going to be covered. So don't worry about trying to, you know, get it all perfect. We want to sketch it out first. So dabbing my brush in the water again. And with the white, we're going to continue covering and doing the same thing. So let's just actually this part is going to be having some darker areas underneath. You'll see. But honestly, we're just covering everything where we right here where we want the foam to be and then we're going to add more details and it's going to stand out very nicely. So let's just go all the way up until this wave with the white. Okay. And quickly use your brush to take away the brush strokes and kind of blend everything in really quick like this. All right. So now I'm going to mix a few more colors and then we will um, continue. So what I got here is the raw sienna, crimson red, and a little bit of lamb black. I'm going to take part of this white, mix it all in. It's going to be a very dark color, dark brown, leaning towards a little bit of red, reddish. Okay, we're going to add that in there. Maybe take part of this pink, mix it in here so that we won't waste paint. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to create one more shade. All right, let's take part of this and mix it in, maybe take part of the blue, mix it in with, sorry, I forgot to tell you, it was basically the same colors, raw sienna, red, and more black. So we want it to be basically like a darker color, the darkest, not too dark because we don't want it to be pure black, but we want it to be like a dark cherry brownish color, okay? So basically any, like anything darker than this. Okay, you can see this is dark, but a little bit darker. Right there. Okay, let's use these colors and see what we can create and start to add more details um, onto our water. So I'm cleaning my number four brush right here. And I'm going to start off with this color right here. So my brush is damp. And remember this we added here. Well, I'm going to cover that with a darker color now. Okay, I'm going to cover it with this color that we have mixed here, and I'm going to use some water. And I'm going to cover some of it, okay? Like the blue where I added the blue. Because this is like a wave crashing, and I want it to... I want it to... For you guys to see, you know, that now the details are starting to come in. And we want to see this wave crashing or about to crash. Okay, I'm going over the blue where we added. Okay, and going over some of this, these areas here. So here it's going to transition 
into this blue. So I'm going to use this darkest color we have mixed here. And I'm going to blend that in here. And then remember this one. I'm going to take a little bit of it, not too much, but I want this wave to stand out as well. I'm going to add that dark. You know, add as much as you think you need. All right, and then maybe in here. Maybe use this blue now. Since we're going further back, I'm going to use my half an inch brush and use this color. Maybe mix it in a little bit with this and add one that is far away, like this. Okay to create a nice wave. And then, of course, little ones as you get closer. Okay, something like this for now, that's good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of some of the dark ones with this blue right in here. Use your, um, you can use your blending brush to smooth that out. So real quick, I'm gonna use my little one. Squeeze the water out, swirl it onto the paper towel real quick and blend that out like this. Okay, and we'll continue. and quickly, softly, barely pressing. I'm gonna blend that in like this. All right, let's continue with this brush. We're going to use this color and this time I'm going to use a little bit of the white, okay? A little bit of the white, mix it in with this brown. And I'm going to add it right here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water and using the same color with a touch of white, we want to create that nice transition. Continue on. So I'm going to use a little bit of this color also on top here. Okay. 
Okay, just a little bit right in here. So we're going to come back to this darker one, mix it in. And I want to add some darker ones right in between some of these areas where we added the white, left the white, I mean. I want the foam to stand out more. So we're going to add some darker colors in here real quick. right in here where the ripples start I'm gonna add highlights spend as long as you want on this part but I'm first going to sketch everything so here is interesting because I'm going to pull it like this because the wave is going back now right from this foam details in here And this darkest color right here, I want it to stand out right in here. So I'm going to just randomly dab it. And kind of go back and forth with it.
So here we can use a flat brush in this darkest color and really quickly go around or you could use even a detail brush. Lightly use the tip. Right, and then go over the foam where you want it to end. Okay, lightly like this, and you could use your finger, kind of clean it out a little bit. And then with a small brush right here, and dab it in the water. And what I'm gonna do is use this black one with a little bit of my brush being so damp. I mean, a little bit damp, right? And I'm gonna add it right in here. Don't be afraid. This area is gonna be dark, so quickly add that color right in here. Okay, add it to make a nice transition, maybe in here, a little bit, okay, really quick. And use one of your dry blending brushes and blend it all in. It's okay if you get it looking a little bit rough, that's what we want. Okay. Lightly, barely press and blend it all in. And there you have it. Quick sand there. We're kind of starting to see the picture come to life. Now we're going to go back to the white and correct some things and, you know, correct the waves and make it look a little more nicer, right? So we're going to spend some time doing that with the white a little bit. Let's start off with our flat brush and some white and water. And let's quickly add a few of the lighter, you know, areas from the waves. Not everywhere, but on some of these. Okay, and Start off with the far distance. Kind of, you know, dab it a little bit. All right. Dabbing my brush lightly and adding some little waves, highlights. Okay, some could be a little bit more intense, like this one.
top of some of these waves that we added. Blend them in gently. We don't want to add too much in the background. Okay, so right in here, this wave. It's crashing down. You know, I'm kind of pulling the paint like in one direction. So here I'm gonna, you know, some of the foam is coming in and out like this. I'm gonna add it more in here. Let's continue right in here somewhere.
Okay, so now I'm going to quickly add a touch of yellow, right, and a little bit of white. Very small amount right here. I'm going to put it right here, mix it in real quick, very small amount. This will be clean my palette knife and then use my smallest brush, blending brush, right? It's a little damp. I squeezed the water out and we're going to use part of this yellow. Maybe mix it in with a little more white. So I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water so it could work and blend transparently. And I'm going to add it right in here. I want this area to kind of glow from the sunlight. So I'm going to blend it all in here lightly with this color. Soften some of these areas, right? And make this look a little more smooth. So go all the way as far as you want. Okay. With this yellow. And add it right in here as well. I want that glow to be in where I added the white. Okay. And maybe even cover areas a little bit like this okay not too much and of course add a little bit in here a bit of yellow where we added dark for fun very quickly All right. All right, let's go back to number four. We're kind of starting to see the ocean come to life, but we're going to continue adding a little more details and shadows and covering the darks and lights. I'm going to come back to this color real quick with water, and I want to add a few more little details right in here for fun. Okay, use my finger right where this foam is, right in here. And I'm going to go over some of these areas, touch them up, and then we will start to add more details. I want to make this a little darker on some of these areas with this color. Okay. That's good enough. Somewhere here, there's going to be a palm tree. Okay. Let's add, let's play with this color and some water. And I'm going to add it underneath some of the here, create a little shadow like this. Okay. Maybe in here a little bit and then dab my brush lightly around like this. And then some in here. Dab my brush lightly.
and pull it out like this. Okay. And then use your finger to quickly blend it all out. Do the same thing here. Now this area is going to be pretty dark because there's going to be some palm trees here so don't worry about adding too much on here but I also want to make it brighter so I'm going to clean my brush use a little bit of white and some yellow and this color here right with water let's create a lighter one from the Sun so even more white Okay, and let's just add it randomly right in here. And let it fade out. Okay, we want to make it look like a transition going on. All right, now with a detail brush and white, we're gonna go over and the foam area and, and kind of, you know, make it look a little more cleaner. So I'm gonna dab my brush into water and do the same thing with water and white, but this time I'm gonna make it more detailed. So I'm gonna go back and, for example, right here, right, I'm gonna connect some of the waves touching together and add my details right as many as you want this is this is where you can spend a lot of time trying to create your details of the water and we don't want to add too much for example right here we want to add a big big one right here but then I don't want to overdo it right so I'm not gonna try to add too much definitely in here so always dabbing my brush in the water so it can run smooth and picking up more swirling my brush and picking up more white this area stand out so don't be shy even covering the brown areas where we filled in right cover it with more white
right now I'm going to take my number three blending brush, the smallest one, and then take part of this, remember, this purple with some water. I'm going to swirl it lightly and work transparently and go over some of these areas. I want to make it a little bit blue in here because the palm tree is going to be here. So I want to make it a little, this foam a little bit blue. You could see not everywhere, but mainly on this area. Okay, like this and then right in here as well. This area, see how nice that looks? So much better. So balances everything nicely. And I'm gonna put some in here. And that's it. And I'm gonna quickly dry it off using my other blending brush, this one, and then lightly blend everything in quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right in here like this. All right, that's good enough. There you go. So now we can add, go back to our detail brush and do the same thing we did with the white, but go with a darker color, this darkest color. And I wanna add some very dark lines. For example, right here, you see how we have, um, I wanna add those and make them look a little more, you know, like, sharper here. I don't know why, but this is important, I think, here to have this darker area right in here. Okay, maybe some in here. Okay, and then it'll fade out, obviously, to the lighter colors and then in here i want it to be dark as well so i'm going to go over right on top on some of them with this darkest one use my finger to quickly blend it all in okay maybe bring this down and have it go like this Add my brush in the water and continue doing the same thing. pop out nicely. This is where you could spend a lot of time detailing as much as you want, all right? Going over back and forth with the likes and uh, dark, darks, darks and lights, sorry guys. There you go.
once you're done adding your details you can do something real quick with your flat brush and water you can see it's very watery okay I'm gonna even actually get more water so I'm gonna dab my brush in water and what I'm gonna do is create like a sand effect so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and with my you know flat brush create lightly you know add that uh, sand effect onto your sand you can clean it out a little bit you can see that looks nice makes it look more like sand obviously clear some of it out okay and that's it and you could do the same thing with the white so it doesn't have to be pure white but you could see water and a little bit of white okay not too much white and do the same thing a little bit you could see it's starting to sparkle from the light we want that it makes it very very nice okay now some of this is going to be covered by palm trees like i said okay there you go our sand is done we can continue on with the palm trees all right so this is what i have raw sienna black red and a touch of white right in here i'm going to quickly mix that in i want it to be dark kind of similar to this color right here that we had but maybe it's a little bit more brownish it's okay we just want a dark color okay so this is good this will be a good base okay so maybe even add a little bit more of the lamb black because i want it to be more darker and towards a little bit of the red so i'm going to add more red to it i'll show you exactly how much and get something similar like this okay we're aiming to have it look similar to this color but not exactly it's okay all right that'll be good for our base okay so let's sketch out our palm trees with this color so i'm going to clean my uh, knife right and i'm going to take my start off with my half an inch brush right here and take this color and this is where you decide where you want it to be so I want my tree to start from here from this corner and I think I want it to go all the way probably stick out somewhere so let's start from here right I want it to go all the way in and and somewhere in here okay so I'm going to bring this down and then maybe it kind of goes down and then goes in and then it bends over like this and goes in like that something like this okay so I'm going to make it about this high I'm going to sketch it out carefully and as I'm going in I'm going to make it thicker so I'm going to have it come all the way up until maybe here okay something like this And we'll continue covering all this with this color. This is our base color, right? in 
here, I think I'm going to make it a little thicker. There you go. Okay, and then so the palm tree will have, don't be afraid to make this. So I'm gonna have it go up to probably this high. Okay, I know it may be a little scary, but with water, we will make it look nice. So I'm gonna have this come down like this and then another one right in here like this sketch it out first and then one more this will be up in here and the last one okay quickly sketch it out obviously some of them once you start adding more details it'll you know be more We'll add the green and all that fun stuff. But I'm just sketching it quickly. To see how it will look. So I usually do this and then I step back, you know, and see if I need to add any more details onto them or make them correct them, you know. This is where you can um, quickly do this and then step back and make sure you like your positioning of your palm tree. So I'm going to make this a little taller. You know, they don't have to be all perfect. And like in here, there's probably another one hiding. So I'm not going to. spend too much time yet Dabbing my brush in water so it can maybe I'll light a, a little one here. And then let's add one more palm tree. Totally up to you if you want to add, do this, but I think I want to add one more right in here. Right in here, and then going up in here somewhere. Okay, and Maybe this one's a smaller one. Okay. 
do the same thing sketch your palm tree out first one will be somewhere here I quickly dab my brush in and water so it can run smooth so it'll be somewhere one over here and then one over here and then one in here and of course one in here Okay, so once you have a quick sketch, let's add some detail. So I added white, touch of yellow, and a bit of red. I'm going to mix that in real quick. See what color it gives me. It should be a lighter color, right? And I'm going to use that. And actually, I'm going to take part of this, add it in here. I don't want it to be too bright. Maybe a little more. We want a light color, but not too light. So, something like this, okay? So now we're gonna add some more details using our number four brush and this color. And we're gonna create, you know, some details to our palm tree here. So remember it's circular, so try to make it like more like circular going like this, all right? So we're going to sketch that in there real quick. Okay, remember the light's hitting it. On some areas it's brighter than others. Okay, like this. And then fade it out on the bottom. And we're going to go up until we are happy. Okay, right here on this side because the light is hitting it. And I'm gonna go up all the way up in here. Lightly dab it in here. There you go. See, it's starting to pop out a little more. Very, very simple. Continue on with the same color, maybe bring it down even lower. Make 
this a little brighter here. That's good enough for this palm tree. Let's do the same thing on the other palm tree and brighten it up a little bit. Maybe add, actually add a few more lighter ones right in here. There you go. That's much better. Okay, let's do that same thing on this side. We're going to add the black. Let's just add some black straight out of the tube, the darkest color here. In fact, let's cover this a little more right here. A little more right in here, right to the edge. Okay, same thing around here. Okay, that's much better. All right, and then with the black, let's clean yarn number four. With the black, dab it in the water. Let's darken some of this. For example, right in here on the left side, I'm going to darken it. shadows, you know. Right on the bottom on some of the areas. Maybe even add a little dark spots on your palm tree. This part needs to be a little darker in here. And blend it all in. Roughly. Okay. And then here, do the same thing on this one. Do the same thing there with the black. A little bit on the bottom. And if it's easier for you to use a detail brush, go ahead and use it. There you go, real quick. Now here, I'm going to add a little bit of shadows. So with water and this dark black color that we have here, I'm going to Put it all in here, kind of blend it, right? So I'm going to use some water and black because of the shadows from this tree. So now with my blending brush, I'm going to smooth it out. Okay, so 
smooth it all out. This one doesn't need it, it's mainly this one. Okay, we want that reflection, the shadow hitting the sand. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more of the darker color right in here. And a dab it and because it's sand, you know, and blend it out. Okay. Now I don't want this to. If you you know overdid it, it's very easy. Just use some water and take it away a little bit. this and that's it now let's add an orange color so a touch of red and yellow not too much red though maybe take part of this leftover right mix it all in and I want to add some of this kind of orange color onto my palm tree. So I'm going to clean my number four and use a little bit of this color, okay? And add it on on top right in here lightly. Use your finger to kind of blend it all out. We don't want too much, but We want that nice glow from the light. Okay, do the same thing here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water and use a little bit of more of the red. So just the red here. And if you take a little bit of yellow, that's okay, but more red and water. Let's add the red right here. Right where, between the dark, you know, the black where we added and the light. Create that transition. Okay, with water and red. mainly on this one. There you go. And with the final detail, white and maybe leftover yellow, touch of it, just a touch of it. Okay. We want a bright color, like a yellow. And with a detail brush in water, we're going to swirl it and go on top. And here we're going to add Probably we're going to leave it here as it is, but in here, I'm going to start adding the highlights from the light on the top, mainly. Okay. Because I want it, I want it to be bright in here from the light. I want my palm tree to stand out. Sketch it all in quickly with water and this brightest color that you added really, really quick.
maybe here it just fades out and here do the same thing on the other one really quick And there you have it. All right, so now this is done. Let's focus on our palm tree right here, these things. So I added sap green, yellow, a touch of white, and then sap green and black. Let's quickly mix this. This is gonna be a couple of the shades for our um, color of the these guys okay so I'm actually going to add a little bit of red to it just because I want to dim it down so it won't be too strong of a green so I, I added a touch of that red let's quickly mix that in there and maybe a little bit too much but that's okay so that's fine right there I'm going to add another green. So this other black one. So it's still green. We want it to be a little bit green, but not very bright. Okay, so I'm going to actually, that made it brown by my mistake, and that's okay. We will add a little more yellow and sap green. next to it and we're not going to mix it together what we're going to do is and a little bit of white let's just add a little bit of white right there okay and i'm going to take part of it i'm not going to take all of it just part of it and mix it in oh that's much better right there see it's green, but it's like a, it's not too strong. All right. So let's just use these colors and sketch out our, um, our palm tree a little bit more. So with our half an inch brush, clean it out, dab it in the water. And let's start with, let's start with this dark, darkest green. So I'm dabbing my brush in the water so it can create a nice fine tip. And I'm going to add a little bit of the details. So add it a little bit more color to it. Now you could use your detail brush if you'd like, totally up to you. Maybe not everywhere. I like some of them to be not as green. We add that shade of green, not everywhere, but go over some of them, okay? Blend it in a little bit.
if you add it too much. Wipe it off either with your finger or a paper towel. So something like this, okay? We added a shade of green real quick and do the same thing on the other tree. Now I'm still sketching. I'm adding a little bit more color, but I'm still sketching because the final thing I'll do is go over it with my detail brush and really get the fine you know little details that I want in there okay now let's go ahead and add the lighter color green this one let's add follow your quickly do the same thing here all right and this is where I'm going to take part of the rest of this green mix it in with the black and it's going to be the darkest color and I'm going to go over with a detail brush this time and create very fine details. Okay, and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm dabbing, I'm gonna consistently be dabbing into my, the water and then swirling my brush to make it nice and, you know, fine. And once I have enough color, you know, on here, I'm gonna go and draw very very fine little details you know remember to make sure brush is wet because once it starts to dry out it'll or when you're losing color it'll uh, be hard to create these fine little lines so I'm barely pressing the canvas and I'm gonna go down okay follow your pattern of your palm tree now you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I do. I wanna make it a little more detail. So I'm gonna spend time drawing and giving a little more depth. Okay.
once you're done with that, you can do the same thing. Just outline a little bit with white and I added a little bit too much white, but that's okay. And a touch of red and, and yellow. And we're going to mix that in and create like a orangey color. Okay, something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. We just want it to be a bright color like this. Okay, and we're going to go with our detail brush and water and we're going to not do not go over everything but like these lines right here right i want to really draw this line right here so i'm going to do that on some of them to make my palm tree stand out okay so right here there's one right in here and it kind of fades out. Okay. And I'm gonna add it onto this one a little bit. And then this one. And of course you can add a few, you know, lighter ones along the way. Right. Make them stand out a little more. Alright guys, you can add as much detail as you want to the palm trees with the detail brush. And that's basically the same thing, just going over and adding, you know, lights and darks. You can add more shadows if you want, totally up to you. Add details to the sky, to the water. Have fun with this, see what you can create. You can even add some birds in there or even a hammock or something, you know? Like have fun with this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for being here and tuning in. Uh, see you guys next time. Take care and God bless.